Welcome everybody, welcome on our second SGC event, this time not SGC 120, but SGC 140. I think you've all seen the introductory movie, how it started, I think we can skip through that now. So. We did our rebranding. Why? Because I think after 50, 60 years, we thought that it would be better for our customers to also understand what is the success behind Sagens. Not only the external image, but also what drives us internally. What are the key topics or the key drivers for us for as a company? So we have the first one, the zeal for excellence. Hmm? Operating in a heavy lift industry, specialized transport, Excellence is what clients expect from us, so that's also part of our company's values. Love for tradition, yes, we're not the most, I would say, um, outgoing company sometimes, but we are proud of our tradition, we're proud of where we came from, and we strive to improve that on a daily basis. Global spirit, I think what you see outside is just uh, very much reflecting that this crane has been built in Belgium but originally based on the engineering done in the United States and going to a project in Kazakhstan. Brilliant solutions, I don't think we need to explain that any further. I think that crane shows that brilliant solutions are part of what we do. And Hendrik started with it, a dedication to safety. And I will come back to that topic a little bit later on as well. So, where are we present? The blue parts on the map show where we are active today and we have, uh, I would say, business units worldwide uh, with fixed establishments. So, most of the map has been colored blue and that means that we are able to operate, service our clients worldwide. What is Sagens? Well, we are 4,100 people strong even more now with the recruitments that are ongoing for TCO. Active in 65 countries. Of course, diverse fleet and equipment. Present in 10 different sectors, so that means that we can work with our clients ranging from oil, gas, mining, civil, wind, you name it. And of course, it's built on highly skilled professionals. We believe everybody can buy a crane, but in order to operate it smartly, safely, continuously, well, that requires skilled professionals. Cost-efficient planning, of course, we operate worldwide around 1,500, 1,600 cranes. That means that you need to have a solid overview of the planning and do it in a cost-efficient manner. Full-scope project management, we can take home a lot of worries from our customer. We can rent them simply a crane. We can take the entire project management scope around heavy lifting and special transport on us. Operational excellence, more and more you will see that word coming back in our presentation in the way we work, because we believe that that is the way forward that also our clients expect us to add some value. Like I said, everybody can buy a crane, but in order to operate with it efficiently and effectively, it requires dedication, it requires knowledge and operational excellence. Technical solutions, yes, not everything in science is around cranes. We also have many other lifting solutions and the team that is working mostly on that is also on the basis of the development of our crane. So all in all, science, yes, worldwide company, 4,000 people, technical solutions, project management, in-house engineering, and helping our clients from the basic crane rental, in-house mechanical maintenance, up until full project scope and technical solutions. Our company, we started with the hydraulic cranes, or what Hendrik said, we even started with transport and moving wood and timber around. But nowadays we have a full scale, full gamma of cranes, and outside the one SEC 120 is not even displayed here. It's what we call a ringer crane. Most of you are well aware of that. But it's not available with our, with our suppliers, so we decided to build them ourselves. 
Safety, safety for us is not a different or a, just a department in science. We believe in a fully integrated safety, health, environmental and quality system that is actually the same as our management system. I think that makes sense. If you design your processes to be safe from the start, from the design, big chances that execution will be good and it will be safe and it will take health of the employees, environment and quality immediately into account. Recently, we started implementing our 10 life-saving rules. And when you enter the site, you must have seen also our um, last-minute risk analysis on the, uh, on the gates. We take great pride in the fact that we remind our people on it, on every project, every operator has the right, but also the duty, to stop the operations if they feel it is not safe. So, for us, our practices, our life-saving rules, they're like second nature to us. And that's really what sets us apart from competition. Lowest frequency rate ever in the history of our organization, and we take great pride in that. Because managing 4,100 people worldwide, every day people on different sites, different clients, different environments, and still we manage to get our safety ever to a higher standard, reflected by a very low frequency rate. And here you can see the assembly of the SGC 120, but actually it's the SGC 140 now. Some numbers. It will go to the TCO project in Kazakhstan. It will be there for approximately three years. And of course, with this I also want to thank our financial partners. The names are there. We have already for a long time a bank consortium with the big Belgian banks and Comexbank helping us to fund undertakings like this. Of course, TCO for us, it's not only this crane, there will be 490 people there, so we will end employment uh, at around 4,500, 4,600 people at the end of this year, and that will be the highest in the history of our company. Hendrik mentioned it, this is not the first crane we built, it's the second one, as you see 120, just in numbers, where it all started, oh, it started in Arizona, in Chandler, Intel, where the crane helped build a factory of chips, one of the smallest devices on earth, built by one of the largest cranes. Then it went back, or it went to China, working for Costco, loading of heavy modules. Back to Europe, Flamanville, France, nuclear. Back to oil and gas, in uh, Chilachap, Indonesia. Saudi Arabia to Saipan, ultimately spending quite some time in India, in Jamnagar, and now it is active in Newcastle in the UK. So as you can see, any industry, any continent, this crane has already worked on. And that's, I think, also the strength of our group. We have a global presence, we are present in all these industries, all these countries, and that makes us able to service our customers worldwide. Is this the last SEC? No. Is this the only new SEC? No. So, we will have an SEC 90 available for the market in 2018. SEC 140 is standing there next to you, that will go to Kazakhstan. We have the SEC 120, which is working in the UK in offshore. And keep in mind, the SEC 250. It's on the drawing board and it will be available for the market in 2019. So, to summarize, I think safety for us, Paramount, makes a big difference. And we focus on minimizing project risk and cost, and that makes us a true partner with our clients. I think there we have really gone through an, evo an evolution with our customers, starting from a smaller crane rental company to a full heavy lift contractor that is able to take away the worries of our clients on everything related to heavy lift. I think you didn't come to hear only me, you came to see the crane, to hear a little bit more about the technical aspects of the crane. And that will be explained better by my colleague Carl. Where is he? There he is.
Yeah, good afternoon, everybody. So I will briefly walk you through some dimensions and uh, technical information on the SCC 140. So it's the next step in the SCC family. Some dimensions of the crane, main dimensions. At the moment, the main boom is 118 meters. You can go to 130 meter main boom. The ring outside diameter is about 44 meters. And there is 4,000 ton of counterweight on the back of the crane to allow to obtain the new load shafts. Resulting in a net capacity of 2,820 tons at a 50 meter radius. Basically, the ring and the machinery deck. The ring is composed out of 64 steel mats. So that uh, double rail beam, so 40-way counterweight containers, it's standard containers, reinforced and filled with local available material like sand. There's an optional deck to install 8 winches, actual configuration is only 6 winches. The crane is supported by 64 wheels in the front and 32 in the back. There is a total of 66 power packs, and a control container and an operator cabin. The boom and the mass dimensions. The boom, which is the part on the right side, has a hold weight of 550 ton in a 130 meter configuration. The back mast, or the mast as we call it, have both together a weight of 250 ton and we have a length of 60 meters. And then the counterweight struts, the vertical bars completely on the left side, weigh in total 110 ton and they really lift up the counterweight when working with the crane. The hook block, it's almost on the bottom at the moment. It's a hone weight of 102 ton and a safe working load of 3,200 tons. Why did we design it? Obviously, as we've explained, for the new markets and the requirements of our clients. If you compare the SEC 140 with SEC 120 and what we all know as the standard and lift screen, the CC88-1, you arrive, this is the curve of the 88 dash one this is the curve of the SEC 120, and this is the curve of the SC 140, which gives, at the end, sorry, 45% more capacity on the long radius. So we raised from 120 to 140, 45% of capacity with the crane. There's three possible boom combinations, the 89 meter, the 118 meter, which is outside, and the 1 over 30 meter. Besides that, we can also install a fly jig or a jib, going from 40 meters till 99 meters, we totally give the crane a hook height of 230 meters in full configuration. Some upgrades for improvement in the 140 compared to 120, of course, is the additional counterweight, and it's impacted also the design of the containers, the reinforcement of the boom and the mast, upgrade of the boom oil system, improvement on winches and power pack units, and a new rail uh, and a ring design. We managed to fully assemble this crane in about six weeks, and the big steps are, of course, putting out the mats and the ring beam, install the boogies, position the winches on the deck, and then erect the mast. And the th next step is stacking counterweights, connecting the boom, connecting the boom winches, and booming up for hoisting up the crane. About the winches, the winches are made German made. Um, we have four main oil winches, each with a hold weight of 40 ton. When the cable is on, it can go off if needed. 50 mm rope and a length of 1,300 mm rope on each winch. The boom oil winch is a 40 ton own weight, 50 mm rope and a length of 2,100 meter. The maximum line pull of each winch is 60 ton. The power packs, there's a big difference with the uh, earlier 120 because they really complied with all new regulations like the tier 4 and the, the noise so we have only 84 uh, decibel noise emission on the crane which is quite low for such a powerful machine it's composed of two 600 kilowatt caterpillar engines and in total is six power packs operation condition of the crane the crane can operate in a wind speed of 24 meters per second 22.4 sorry and out of service 56 meters per second above 56 we have to boom down the ground preparation is minimal we only need 20 tons per square meter on the surface capacity on safety the crane is 100 percent redundant which also allows us to comply with the performance level called e which is the highest achievable level of redundancy and safety in the drivetrain of the machine 
which is fully EOA and TR10000 compliant, and it's got on top of that a safety PLC integrated in the new system. If there is any questions on this crane, I have a lot of colleagues having a nice blue jacket outside. We will have a lot of detailed information of the crane and are available to explain some technical things on the crane outside or over here inside. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. Carol is in the company our director of technical solutions, engineering and projects. And Carol is the son of Benny, Benny from the Big Benny. So this is the end of the official part. Within 15 minutes, the buffet will be open. But you can also walk outside, have a look at the crane. And besides the crane, we also have installed our CS5000 climbing system. 5,000 tons. There is an operator with it and he can show how it works. We have inside the tent here a 3D maquette which was printed in-house from the Champlain project which we did in Canada. You can have a look at it. This is on my left side, your right side. And then finally in the back end of the tent there is a VRB virtual reality boot where you can put on the, the, the correct device and have a walk through the project in Canada. A very nice experience. Thank you very much.